Hey Sandra and Roger, uh, this is Max. I just got off the phone with Sandra and she said this would be the best email to send the um, video to. So this is the video that I promised. And um, all that I ask in return is just a little bit of feedback, whether that be replying to this email or giving me a phone call or a you know text at 850-838-6092. All right, so now that that's said, let's uh, let's jump right into it. So really the general gist here of what we do is we rank, um, you know, contractors in Google, um, in particular this Google Map Pack and number one organically overall for keywords that are being searched by your consumers every month. And I know that these words are being searched um, because I use a software called Arifs. And it shows me that just that one phrase gets searched 200 times a month. And if we add up all the phrases that I was able to find, there's actually 410 searches every month for painters in Fresno, California. Okay. So really the three things that I'm going to be showing you are three tips on how you can rank your website in Google and rank it over your competitors. And as you can see, uh, Michael Angelo custom painting is here. So I picked his website and I'm just going to kind of show you guys three things that you can do to beat out your com competitor online. Okay. So the first thing is content on your homepage. And if you um, copy everything that you see here, including all these pictures and what they're saved as, and then we put it in this word counter here, it shows me that you have 240 words on your homepage and Google typically wants about 1500 to 2000 words on their homepage. Um, and that's because it's kind of like you are giving to Google more content that they can share on their search engine. And then that just helps them bring more people onto Google. It's kind of weird, but that's how they view it. And so in return, they will help rank you for whatever your um, website is talking about. Okay. On your homepage. So with the 1500 to 2000 words, you would want these particular phrases in there. That way you become relevant for these uh, searches. Okay. So as I showed you, you guys have 240. If we, I did the exact same thing to your competitor, um, copied their stuff and then threw it into this word counter, they have 356. So if you guys got that 1500 to 2000, you would easily smash them out with your content and you know, you'd become a lot more relevant for these search terms. Okay. The second thing that I'm going to show you are backlinks and what a backlink is, is basically one website linking to your website, which passes power and relevance. And so if we copy this URL here and throw it into RFs again, this shows me the back end of your website. And as you can see, you guys already have over a hundred backlinks um, coming into your website but a hundred of them coming from 16 different websites is a little bit spammy. And so your trust rating from Google here is a little bit low. Now I do want to show you that your competition is in the same boat as you. This is Michelangelo's custom painting. They have a few more links than you, as you can see, uh, coming from a couple more um, websites than y'all, but their trust rating is still really low. Um, and so if you were able to get more relevant um, links coming in to your website from maybe like a home improvement blog or something in Fresno, then that would make your site a lot more relevant to that search term. And really, whenever I talk about a link, it's kind of like this right here. If you had a link like this going to your website on a blog post that, like I said, was a home improvement or a painting blog, or if it had something to do with Fresno, then your um, health of your website is also going to be not just improved, but a lot more relevant to these specific search terms. Okay. So the third and final thing that I'm going to show you is um, citations. And that has everything to do with this Google map pack here. And really all a citation is, is a business's name, address, and phone number placed on various directories throughout the web, such as Yelp or, you know, yellow pages, stuff like that. And then that makes your physical address, physical name, phone number, and your Google My Business page here, 
um, more relevant towards these search terms as well. Okay, so then you're not only verified in Google's eyes, but also your consumer's eyes because your business is verified in Google's eyes. So the thing that about this is why it's so important is that 80% of these people searching this term are on mobile devices and this map pack is what comes up first on there. So whereas if you were ranking organically down here, you would only get about 40% of the people to click on your site. But if you're in this map pack, then you're getting about a 65% click rate, okay? And just to do some simple math, if there's 410 people searching for painters in Fresno every month, and you guys are ranking um, just organically here at the top of the organics, and so let's say that you're bringing in, you know, 40% of those to your website, that's 164 people on your website every month that are actively searching for the service that you offer, okay? Um, let's say 40% of those actually take the action to give you a call or enter their information into a lead form. That's an extra 65 and a half people every month reaching out to you um, about their services. And you do have to keep in mind, these are buyer intent people that are actively pursuing you. All we have to do is get your site in front of them so that they can contact you, okay? And I can let you do the rest of the math based on your close rate and the size of the jobs, how much money you'd be bringing in each month just from this. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that it was informative and helpful. Again, all that I ask is just a simple reply, um, just to give me your thoughts or if you have any questions, just reply to this email. Or if you're better at you know calling or texting, you can give me a call or text at 850-838. 6092. So thank you, Sandra, and thank you, Roger, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.